Hey everybody and welcome back to Nightbringers Watch. I'm Falk and I invite you to join me in today's episode in the Bard State 4. Uh, last time we uh, defeated Lexanta before we left off. And now we are making our way back to the Arl and I've gone through the main entrance and now we are at the castle gates. Which we now can open. And behind that there's another one, yay! And for whatever reason there are enemies which we are going to Is kill. Over there. And yeah, pretty easy. See everyone's not more than a bit more than a hundred experience points. Not worth talking about, though the berserks still hit like trucks. <laughs> Alright, that should Wait, are there more These enemies? No threat to us. What's wrong here? And another pretty easy group done. Though a melody has been our weak point once more, so uh, she died. And uh, is she still burning? I don't think so, right? Um, we are going to eat a soup. That's enough. And then we can continue our way. And there are even more threats on the way. So I am going to pause until we are back at that village. Alright, we are behind the barrier. I am going for that save point real quick. Where, where am I stuck there? I think I should sell something even before going to the Jarl because I have so much weapons. Heroes, you still live. Yeah, we do. Well met. How may my forge serve? Mm. All right, your best work. Uh, we are still selling you things. The Adamast Longsword. Uh, we are going to sell... Wait, what? Undo that. I think we accidentally bought that sword. Uh, even if I am just about to sell things. Wender cannot afford? Ah, oh, Wender is broke. How about boots? You know what? We are going to sell some. Not the Archmage's rope. An Oak Heart sh Shortbow. Mm, we might want to sell. To have the Longbow. Mm. The Officer's Helmet. I think that ah uh, can afford. Oh god, damn it, we have so much things. That we can sell. Uh, reduce the opportunity cost. Or your next attack by one. Or this turn only can only apply once per turn. Mm, what's with that shot bow? Also, ah, cannot afford apprentice rope. Apprentice rope, we don't need apprentice rope stuff, right? Priestly vestment, I think, can also go. What is that? Place pitch, that's an ingredient. We are keeping that. Has what? 83. Box left. What about this? The conjurer's rope stuff. And we will confirm that. Thank you for that. Farewell. We are now going to meet the Jarl. So into the Selkie and Seal? Okay. The Seal and Selkie. All 
right, we are in the Seed and Selaki. We are going to save here, so we are getting that heat effect. It's still pretty depressing in here, but uh, Ayarl Edavast is the one we want to talk to. News of your victory over Xanta precedes you, but my son is not with you. Does this mean I do not know how to greet you? You have rid my land of that vile necromancer and returned me to my castle. I should thank you, but... But you also tell me my son is dead. And for that I want to strike you. Could you not have saved him? Could you not? No. I can blame no one but myself. This is the darkest day of my life. Uh, right, we did not find the dragon axe of Halvard. Wait, I think this is a bonus item I got with my with my game. I come to that because of um something I've I've uh, researched. There are those. Offering pools and those code things, right? And I never got to know how these work. Um, so I did a research and it said that there's a code wheel you can um, you can or you should have with your with your copy. And I looked into my um, in, into my box of Bart T4, and I don't have a code wheel. You can download them uh, from various sources, and can do the puzzles then with that uh, code wheel. And I just looked, and it's another axe you can, I uh, you get when you enter a code. I did totally forgot to do that, so I don't have those bonus items, but hey, we're getting through this game pretty easily. And I do not know, did he ally himself with Xanta, or did he... I, I think he fought Xanta, right? I knew it. I knew he was a good son. No matter what those fools whispered. Thank you. You will be rewarded for this. That's nice. And the axe gone too. These are bleak days indeed. All right, farewell. Thank you for telling me about my son. You have given me solace, friends. He deserved to know what really happened. So wait, did, did we lie? I, I can't remember. But we can't talk to him anymore, so it's okay. Uh, we are going out again to those uh, stones and I see you in the Adventurers Guild when we are going to speak to Ravi. Alright, we're back at the guild. Wait, you're back already? Wow. Until then, hey, Rabbi. Welcome back, friends. Now the time must journey. Thank you, Rabbi. We are back. Aye, welcome. Wait, Orlo? Who's Orlo? I hope you bring good news, for we've had little here. In fact, disaster has struck. It seems Yadis has resurrected another of the ancient evils, the mad god Tarjan who blasted Scarabray to ruins a hundred years ago. Now, he's returned and stolen a terrifying charm relic. And as you can see, left a lot of guild members wounded and dead when they tried to stop him. It was a massacre. Hmm. All right, we killed Xanta, but he gave Yaris the blood of Aethelrud. In the shape of the uh, of a young woman of the lineage. Ah, well done, putting Xanta to rest again. 
But the poor wee girl. I should have realized the blood of Ethelrude would mean one of his descendants. But what advantage does she give? What does Yadis mean to do with her? Uh, we, we do know what he wants to do with her. He wants to use the blood to rescue or uh, re rescue, uh, you know, right? Um, to free the maiden who is, um, holding back those mad gods. You've seen it if you visited Duke Kingston. The ravenous null. A terrifying thing. Could probably swallow all of Scarabray if it had a mind to. And now, Tarzan has it. Well, it said Tarzan marches on to Harrenhold, seeking the last piece needed to enter the barrow of the maiden. Reverend Stone, then the advent of the farm here is within their grasp. Please, heroes, you must find Tarzan's reliquary and confront him with it before he reaches the realm of the dwarves. Did you not hear, Rob? When we fought Darjan, we saw him place something inside the ravenous Null before he stole it. I fear. Fian preserve us. If the Mad God's hidden his reliquary within the ravenous Null, then this is the end. The skin of the Null swallows everything that touches it. You'll never even strike the reliquary, let alone Tarjan. Oh no. No, wait. There is a sword. The Hungering Blade, an evil thing that drains all its strikes. Flame dies, magic fades, hearts stop. They say it lies locked in the Red Vault, a ruin somewhere in the Inshriach, hidden there by an ancient king who feared his enemies would kill him with it. If anything could destroy the Null, it would be that blade. You must seek it out. All right. You'll Thanks have to for ask that. the Fichte for the location of the vault. I don't know it. A oh. blade that rots everything it touches? What Scar could go wrong? Right, Scar what could go wrong? The hungering blade it is. One day I'll be Speak to Mother Nine. So we are off again. Do we need to talk to the, the board? Welcome again, adventurers. Once more you return to us for knowledge. Let us review your recent actions. You have killed Lagoth Xanta and returned Castle Langskull to the High Jarl of the Einar, thus saving Kaith and the Stenish Isles from the depredations of yet another ancient evil, and bringing the guild one step closer to discovering the true evil behind these reincarnations. These are worthy and heroic deeds. All right, Farewell, I, adventurer. I do like that deep, grumbly voice. All right, back in the forest of Inshriach. And uh, we are about to talk to Mother Nine. Uh, what I was in... Uh, in uh, the Scarred... Scarabre Billows, I saw that um, undeads are now roaming the Scarabre Billows, so there are new enemies and that could be a nice opportunity to grind a bit more, but I think we are well suited for, for now, so I'm continuing the story. Welcome again to Torfion. What can I do for you? Uh, we seek the red vault. The red vault? I have just had words that Bren, the outpost that defends it, is under attack. Whatever you seek there, it appears your enemies are again a step ahead of you. Seems like... Nothing. It sounds... unpleasant. Yeah, it sounds right. Uh, what can you tell us about the vault? The Badish gave it that name, back when they tried to take this wood for their own. It is a place of the Charn, more deadly by far than Iwanreg, and thus more strongly warded. 
triply so. Hidden, guarded, and sealed. Oh, uh-huh. and uh, what is Bren? Bren is an outpost built to stop anyone who somehow finds the vault from entering it, and to stop anything that escapes the vault from entering the wood. It is garrisoned entirely by spear daughters, each sworn to die to keep the world safe from its evil. Okay. And how can we get there? On any other day, I would have told you that entering it was forbidden. But I fear the worst is happening there, so I will send you. First, you will need this gem to unlock the sky door to Bren. Secondly, you will need this, the tear of Fae and gifted to us by her benevolence when she helped us seal the vault. There should be no other way to enter the place, but these cultists have magics even the elves might envy, so I fear they have breached it, then sealed it again behind them. Uh, stupid cultists. Uh, I hope we don't die too. Yeah. A place that kills to keep its secrets. Wonderful. Can't wait. Let's march. All right. Where is it then? Uh, so wait. Here? Oh, down there. Um, how do I get there? Maybe through this door? Uh, boy, this will be a march. Alright. I think we are about to enter the endgame part. Oh, we defeated three of uh, the two of three ancient evils, and then there is only Yadis left, right? And I am honest, I did spoil myself a bit. This is our demi. Um, from the main quest, I think it's only three or four parts that are coming after the blood of the king. I wish to thank you, friend. You have been a stalwart companion through these trials. Thank you, mm. lady. I have only done what needed to be done. You are oh, there are more enemies. Few would have even seen the danger, let alone acted to end it. You were too kind, lady. Can we ignore them? Yeah, hey, we can, because I don't want to fight. A winnable fight. And here we just might go down? No? Ah, oh, then I think we have to fight these. Let's See check. Um. Eighteen. That's quite the number. You're all dead. Okay, I think that that guy might be the first one to die. All right, let's drink I something. Then we are going. For the fucking intense fury. Yeah. After that, I think we are reducing the armor to half and get rid of the rest. What do you want me to then do? I want to zap this guy. We are going to enchant the waffle blade to uh, our yeah. throne. We are doing this. Ready. Right, this is my mm, We are going to find this guy. We are switching. Oh, we can't move there, right. <laughs> we can't rent the armor anymore, so we should not go with physical attacks there. Ah, we taunted this guy now already. 
That's been pretty dumb. Pretty mindless. Ah, still alive. I think nine is something we can do. Then there's only those two tanky guards left. Which also should be not that big a problem. A lumber strike. What do we have? 21, 18. What do you want me to do? <laughs> All right. Ready. Orders. Gather them. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, come on. He's still alive. Not cool. Command me. We are going to zap the guy. All right, he's. Now what? And it's also only ten. <laughs> All right, then we are going to throw the guy in front of those two. Up here, yes. and you know what? We are going to meditate. We're still doing uh, the assassin attack, and then we end the turn. Next round, this guy will fall. <laughs> to me, uh, reduce the opportunity cost of that. Ready when you are. Ready for yeah. orders. Oh wait, you can kill it. Oh. oh wait, we have a level up with crooks. That's nice. Taking that. Let's check in. What do we want to do? We have the Grand Magician and we have the Grand Summoner. Archmage. Oh wait, we do have the Archmage trait. How may I help? Right? Now what? At least we can't uh, skill it anymore. This is gate, this is 30 constitution, we don't need this with uh with crooks. Have we been going for ah oh, yeah for the archmage ropes? All right, cultist ropes, and next is archmage. Oh, where the frick are we? I want to get down there. So, what's the best to do? Uh, to go there, to get there. Oh, hey, wait. Look at that. Did not see that the first time I came here. So give me that throat treasure. And it's a Hellebore seat. That's cool. I think I could have used that a bit earlier. This is a dead end. And I'm totally not good at navigating this. Uh, forest. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. I am um, coming back when I am um, when I'm there. Just a sec or two, maybe. Stand All right. I think I found a uh, fight that is worth noting. Because of this guy, sixty insignificant fool, six armor. Ready. 
we are going to use several uh, opportunity points just for getting here. We are doing the vocal plating. Some of us are burning. This could be a hard fight, but in the meantime, we had several level ups. So let's check if we are still able to beat this guy. Alright, this one's down. Um, but sadly we do have to end the turn. After the manga's mind jump, that is. Wow. That, um, mm, we can reach it. Wonderful. Command me. All right, eighteen. Yes. So I will go with magic against that guy. Eating my brain. Ah, sadly not enough. Oh, wait. Ah. Oh, we still can do that. Nice. Perfect. I can do this. I can... No targets in range. Oh, I got them. We have to go... Into the front line. Speak. Ah, yeah, that's it. Perfect. And we did go quite away through that forest. I had several enemies on the way. And we need to go, I th think, still to this part. I think. I'm not sure. Come on, don't lag, just move. I mean, it would be to this direction. It's still quite confusing, but... uh. Those enemies are reassuring. Alright. Um, going to pause again. I just wanted to show that fight because of that 66 armor that we easily cracked. Oh. See you when. And um, yeah, I'll see you in just a sec. Alright. I remember what to do. Uh, I've been a bit wrong. I thought I just need to follow the path down there, but there's a magically blocked door here. And uh, to enter that, we need to. Oh, really think trow are demons? Ah, what? They say we eat babies and curdle milk and whisper madness into sleeping people's ears. Ah, some good ideas there. Hang on, I need to write these down. <laughs> what? Don't you dare! Okay, we got that uh, Skyhinge Monolith uh, gem from Mother 9, right? So we are setting that in. And then we do have uh, to do the Owl. I think to open that part. And for the Owl, we need to. Oh, god damn it. Inspect this. Then three down. 
doing a kind of square and those two so those this and this I think that's the owl I hope might be that I'm wrong here no it looks like I've been ready yeah I've been behind that all right, we open that door and you hear the music's different this time. We, we can go into this direction. There is a... Let us show these villains the folly of their ways. Yeah, later. We are going to repair that stone. Then we are going to save and end the episode here. Um, I did indeed do some leveling up, but I, I don't think that we made much progress. Other than fighting, fighting and fighting. And yeah, uh, next time I think we are getting into the Chan Ruin. Though I am going this part first. I think that connects to the beginning where we first entered the forest of the Inchriach. Alright, thank you for watching, liking, sharing and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!